Booz RV has been crushing it lately, just in my opinion, with how they're moving the technology forward and making things available to people to buy. Starting with this one, but we're gonna talk about this one today. What up, I'm I from Ask I Solar, where I like to give you real life practical takes on these solar devices and products, just to make it simple. We have this Bouge RV panel. I'm gonna try and talk about it out of the wind today. It's a little windy out here. And I'm gonna take a sort of a different spin on this panel a little later. Y'all see it's overcast. I got some sun numbers for you guys. Relax, relax. So what we have here is a 100 watt micro, what do they call it? Fiberglass flexible panel. It's 10 bus bars on this joint which helps with efficiency they're talking about how this dip is up to 23 percent efficient and it's still a 100 watt panel but what that comes down to is the form factor gets a little bit smaller you know most panels are like 20 percent 21 percent so you got like a little bit smaller form factor i'll show you something about that later so just some rough numbers here it's about a 20 volt by 6 amp open circuit like the numbers that you pull when there's no load on a joint and then it drops down to 17.1 volts five point some odd amps to get you to back to the 100 watts when you have a load on it now bouge rv touts certain things like it being really thin they're talking in the millimeters which it is um you know it's not that much thinner than most panels but the main benefit that you have with this joint is how light it is and how um, resistant to breaking it is because of this fiberglass encasing situation that they have going on. It's also ETFE coded. That's an important thing as well for the longevity of the panel. ETFE for the streets, right? <laughs> the panel is in incredibly flexible. Now, of course, you don't want to be bending it like this, but it can be bent and you don't hear nothing cracking or anything. You know what I mean? And I also like that it's not a real floppy panel. Most of these 100 watt panels, when you kind of lay them up against something, they tend to be a little like floppy. This has a really sturdy build without being overly soft. You can lean it up against something, which is often a problem with these 100 watt panel flex panels, right? They're not the same as these ridges over here, but you can lean this pretty good up against a situation and get some angled power. Whereas like typically what people do is they, they mount these flat. We also have some carabiner holes on here. We got six of those. So you could string this up if you wanted to, to get an even better angle. Another thing I love about Bouge RV is they put their contact information on their panels email addresses they even have the whatsapp number <laughs> there's a phone number as well i've never called it but it's there right that's a good look now what we're all waiting on is how do these perform and then also there's this like bit of a spin i want to put on looking at the panels and hopefully you guys enjoy hopefully you learn something oh let's look at size here look check that out i was thinking it would, this would be kind of the same size but the bouge rv is definitely smaller it may be a little bit wider. Let's take a look at that. It is ever so slightly wider. So that this 10BB technology is actually making the panels smaller. So that's pretty cool. Now that that's out of the way, we're gonna look at these two panels and see if they put out different power on this power station that I have in series versus parallel. This is the angle of the panels. It's the best I could do. So series is basically where you connect one panel to the other and then you create like one solid panel that increases the voltage but leaves the amps the same. Parallel is what I've done here, which is where you have to have two negatives from each panel. You can see one there, one there. They both come into this little splitter and then go here. And you have both positives from that same panel. They go into this splitter and they go here. And then your cable connects into that one and that one. And then what you have is a 20 volt 10 amp because it combines the amps. Parallel combines the amps, series combines the voltage. So interesting, on here we got 140. Now we are connected in series. We're seeing very similar power, 140 compared to 138. So there you go. In this scenario, let's look at lay flat. See what kind of power we're getting. Turn the screen on. So 80 watts, man, you know, it is what it is. <laughs> Just a little bonus suggestion, something that I started playing around with last summer is putting your panels, a 100 watt panel like this is super light. So you grab it, throw it on the roof of your car. Typically, if you notice when some things have shade on them, your cars don't. <laughs> so I find that 
in the middle of the street. The middle of the street is often a place that doesn't have the same limitations of shade that other places have. So you could grab this dip, throw it on your roof, get some bonus power. Super light, you can't beat that, a little bonus thought. Another thing to consider with these rigid panels, <laughs> flexible panels, I love rigid panels, I mean, they're just hardcore. But these flexible panels are getting more durable and they're also getting cheaper. Check out the price down in the dip. If I have a coupon, it'll be down there and it'll last for as long as it lasts. You know what I mean? What you gonna do? You gotta watch the videos when they come out so you can get the discount, you feel me?